Gateway Gamers Podcast. Hello, welcome to Gateway Gamers Podcast. My name is Brian Marvel, joined as always by the great R.P. Walsh. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing great, doing great. Just uh, doing our goal, burning through my collection one game at a time. So I brought another group of games for us to have you pick kind of what you want to play, what you're in the mood for, okay. so we could decide if we're going to get rid of it or keep it. So I have two games for you in our bag of games. I have a game, both games are illustrated by the same illustrator. Oh, okay. So I thought that was interesting. It was a nice tie. A Mr. Kendall Hale. One is a trading card, collectible game, that you may or may not have played before. Okay. And the other is a dice chucking racing game. I'll take the dice chucking racing game. Okay, not I interested in the. I didn't know where else. I thought I was. I was pausing for more. Pausing said... for more dramatic effect. I couldn't think of anything else. Yeah, uh, let's go with that. I one. know you don't, you're not a huge fan of TCGs. Not and, really. Uh, not really. Well, it was Lorcana. Oh no way! Yeah, so I figured maybe we talk about Lorcana again. We'll save it for in our time. The game you have chosen instead is. Fortify. Fortify. What are you getting just from the cover? It looks like that one like Cartoon Network show. Uh, I can't think of it, but it looks like Water Balloon Flight. Okay, it, I am. I also get like a weird Cartoon Network vibe. I think the uh, that one show. I can't. I the don't kids know. next door almost. Well, that is what I actually thought originally. Yeah, but looking at this, the main character looks like uh, one of the other shows. I don't. I don't know, but yeah. the kid next door was like my favorite. Yeah, the artist Kendall Hall. I'm pretty sure worked for Nickelodeon. So he okay. probably did something mm. that sticks out. But yeah, Fortify. Read me the back of the box. It's a hot summer day and you see a new family just moved in across the street, which can only mean one thing. Boxes. You round up your friends in a giant bag of water balloons and split into teams. Start stacking boxes and filling water balloons because everyone knows it's time to fortify. You know what? I love the idea of this. Uh, you know, I feel like we don't get this anymore. Kids don't play outside play outside yeah. and do this kind of stuff so did, did you have you water think? balloon fights yeah. like yeah but not, of this magnitude like, no not of this this is a this looking at the back of the box and the, even the cover this is an absurd level of of water balloon fighting but i love it i, I love it though no, but we would just kind of run around and kill each other run yeah. around and line up and just like yeah i know i don't know if this is like a thing of using cardboard boxes to make forts for water balloons fights but it's sense. kind of genius yeah <laughs> it makes it sense um but yeah, I definitely growing up, absolutely water balloons were a thing, and we didn't not the cheaty water balloons that these kids have now. Did what you see they? the new thing? So, no. uh, my nephew, whenever he has a birthday party, because he's in June, it's uh, it's a bunch of balloons connected to like one nozzle, and the nozzle turns onto your uh, hose the, the ho- spigot, the hose, whatever yeah, hose yeah. thing. You turn it on slow, and all the water balloons fill. And when they get heavy enough, they fall off, and the rubber band automatically like catches them. Oh my god! So you—that's you, that's awesome. But my god, the amount of water balloons that exploded on me growing up, yeah, tie, tie, just tying yep. them. Yeah. So that was part of the the fun was running low, and you had one person like fill the fill them up, fill them <laughs> up, and they had to run, and then you had to tie it, and the uh-huh. stress of it all. Yeah. Now it's like you you put them into like a big uh like big barrel. Uh, yeah like put them into some kind of water a pool even like a kiddie pool you turn the hose on they all fall off and they're just like in the pool ready to go mm-hmm. it's an amazing invention but you lose the stress of what a water balloon was yeah. back in the day of having one person just fill and <laughs> using their mouth to kind of grab it pull mm-hmm. it twist it up yeah but uh yeah not that these kids these kids nowadays these kids nowadays don't know how good they got it um so let me give you some stats on the game sure so fortify came out in 2024 this is a brand new game uh front of publisher barrel aged games which they also designed stool pigeon which was a game oh, that yeah. you played like that game. and uh i loved it i think the production was great on that i think the production on this is as well so yes. barrel aged games is definitely a company I'm going to keep an eye on with some of their other games I want to definitely try. Uh, designed by Jason Mack and Caleb Zwar. It's a two-player game. I think there are solo rules. I have not tried them yet. Hmm. Uh, plays for 15 to 30 minutes, ages 7 up. And it's a dice rolling, push your luck, uh, Yahtzee style kind of rolling mm-hmm. uh, worker placement. 
Okay. It's a lot, but it's super simple once mm-hmm. you kind of learn the rules and like what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so are you ready to go try it? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, we're back. Yes, sir. My clothes are soaked. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> I was excited. <laughs> I was excited for this game. Um, first impressions of this game. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's, it's a good idea. It's fun, like a fun idea. But maybe it's just the draw. Uh, but I didn't really care for this. Yeah, so we played two quick games of this. Great. Great. I think this would be great for children. Okay, yeah. This is definitely I like a family. I would say 7 to 15 years okay. old. I think that's a good age. Because right. they said 7 and up. But you could do this definitely younger. Yeah, there's not any reading. No. Uh, I think if you just kind of tweak the rules a bit to make it a yeah. little uh, less time-based, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I really enjoyed this game. Oh, that's a good point. Sorry, that's that's a good point. Like to make this, if you wanted to play with younger kids, get rid of that time aspect. Just yeah. like everybody take as long as you need. Yeah. Um. So fortify. The point of the fortify is that, as the theme kind of is, you are two opposing squads of water balloon fighters. You have two leaders that are in the center. It's a little, what postcard sized, yeah, board that's in the yeah, middle. Yeah. And then the two leaders. Uh, the point of the game is they have three like water balloon barrels in front of them and like a target you want to roll the die that is like the same color as a target hit them three times that ends the game sounds super simple because it kind of is there's a lot more mechanics but that's the basic gist of the game um the first round is fortifying you're building your camp uh you're moving all those boxes around this is where i think the game is like it's this is where I think the game is most different. It's kind of the most unique. Mm-hmm. I played similar games of like dice chucking and all color matching. Uh, but this is also the round that I think is the most fiddly and kind of where I, th- I think you were the most turned off because of the luck of the draw or disluck. So the basic premise is you're taking four cards of boxes that are in a shape. Depending on how you shuffle, you're getting terrible shapes Mm -hmm. because the point is is both players get the four cards you quickly flip them up and then you're connecting these boxes to that postcard shaped board in the middle and you want to create gaps in the boxes so you want the boxes to connect but you want to leave gaps for you putting other other like characters reward cards yeah in because you got to make a, a gap big enough for the reward cards, and you can fit one or two in them mm-hmm. based on how you do it. So, this is where the game kind of lulls the most. It's the most interesting concept, but it's also the most luck dependent on like how much you'll enjoy it. Because mm-hmm. I was getting so many L cards the first game that I could not build anything. I think mm-hmm. the first two rounds of the first game, we didn't have any extra characters. No. Because it's just, we weren't getting the right shuffle. We weren't getting the right cards. Because it's either, like, L-shaped, a a straight line with, like, two gaps that you can connect out. Or, like, one straight little line. And then, like, a lawnmower, which is just, like, it just makes the card smaller. And it just, it's very dependent on what you're getting. Yeah. To create gaps, to get more characters, to move the game along. So... In those gaps, you're putting either like a two by two bigger card. If you make that size gap, you could have throwers, which gives you extra dice to throw in the next phase, extra water balloons. Uh, If you have a smaller, just little square, you get a builder, which gives you more cards to draw from in the four to five phase in the next phase. And then there's medics, which are two by two bigger cards also mm-hmm. which dry characters if they're hit by water balloons it's a funny idea yeah great idea mm-hmm. and then in the middle whoever builds the fort the fastest picks this meeple up and it's just like a little nerdy looking kid with an umbrella he's your cousin who wants to play mm-hmm. but doesn't want to get wet so he's wearing like a raincoat big boots and like an umbrella again funny concept because we all had those people that are like oh, no, 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 don't get me wet like yeah. oh, i want to but he wants to be involved 
Um, so whoever builds their fort the quickest grabs that meeple. They have an additional dice for the next phase. Mm -hmm. His die also is the only character that has umbrellas on him to block water balloons from the opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good idea. I like the idea of a racing phase that you're... Because you're in such like a panic to build and grab that meeple. No, it's a good way to do it. It's a good yeah, way to do it. You're not just like, all right, I'm building this. Yeah, like, you're not, I, you're... It's, not thought, it's not thought out. It's like a water balloon fight. It's frantic. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like you're just trying to stay alive. Yep. So, and then the next phase, after you build and after someone grabs the cousin meeple, you're now in the throwing balloon phase. You're rolling as many dice as characters you have so if the only character you have is your main guy you only have one die if you grab the cousin meeple if you the first to build the first round you get an additional meeple for him and then if you are able to make gaps to put the throwers in you get a die for every mm -hmm. thrower you're able to get in uh this round is also simultaneous action you're both at the same time you're rolling and then you're applying the dice to where they where you want them to go. Yeah. If you roll green and the box, there's a green box on the opposite end, you can knock that box out. Yep. Uh, any If you have multiple greens connected and one box gets hit, all mm. the greens are gone. Mm -hmm. If you hit uh, a water balloon thrower that's wearing a green shirt, they get flipped over, they're wet, you lose the extra die from them. The goal is to roll a wild side of the die so you can hit the leader. As he said, you hit him three times, game's over. Whoever assigns all their dies the quickest also gets to draw another meeple that's in the middle, the jerk meeple. Mm -hmm. And then he throws a water balloon last. So after you, everyone's done, you roll his die. It's like an additional attack. And then you apply his balloon, being that you can't get blocked. So if you have the umbrella die, he's so late in the game, you can't even block it. Yeah. He's the jerk neighbor that mm -hmm. just runs over. It's not playing, but just throws a balloon. Love that jerk neighbor. Yep. Uh, we all had him. But that's pretty much it. That's the game. That continues until someone hits the opponent's leader three times. As I said, it's a really interesting concept. I love the first phase. And then the second phase is just kind of Yahtzee mechanics because you could roll and then re-roll as long as you yeah. assign one die. So it's very familiar. But it, the first phase, I think, is it's where this game shines, but unfortunately where this game crumbles. Like, kind of is the most, yeah, like... Like a wet piece of cardboard. A wet piece of cardboard. Um, so let's kind of go through it. Uh, theme. I enjoy this theme. Yeah, yeah, me too. I don't think it, like, it oozes the theme. Like, I don't know. It's hard it's without... It, it needs. Without throw balloons. I don't know how you could. Yeah. But I, I like the idea of it. There's not a lot of games like this, of, like, childish I, kind of games. I think a better idea would be to have, like, a little catapult. And a little color, and you just throw them wherever it lands. And launching at the neighbor, kind of. But not like crazy launch, so you, but like just like a little, like a little spoon. And it just goes. It can't go further okay. than like like more uh, like three feet or something. Like more three like D, like actual boxes too. No, like no, no. Of. The the thing. No, is just fine. that's it. Just yeah, like a meeple the, launcher, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of where it lands. Okay. I feel like because it because then you don't have to worry about it flying across the room, mm. so it only goes a little bit. But then it's like, oh, it's actually hitting other than just throwing, rolling dice. Kind of applying. Yeah, I guess that could work. That's a completely different game. Yeah, you're though, completely but... blue skying this game. Yeah, <laughs> just... I am making it uh, But yeah, I enjoy the idea of the game. I like the theme of it. It's mm -hmm. kind of unique. I don't have too many games like this in my collection. Um, aesthetics, I think this game looks fantastic. Yeah. I yeah. love the artwork. Agreed. I love the colors. I love the dice. I love everything pops in this game. The little, they give you little uh, splash meeples that just represent like the splash. It's unnecessary, but it just looks. Yeah, it looks cool. Cool. I it, like the um, the flip side of the the cards. Like the characters, how they're wet. Like it looks like they're hit by a water balloon. So yeah, you know, so it's you know what's happening, and visually, it it's appealing. It represents as well. what it represents. Yeah. Yep. Um, replay value. <sighs> It's hit or miss. No. Nah. Yeah, no. It's like a I, big time no for me. I could see this is a good game for me to like introduce to people sparingly. I don't see this being like, let's play again. Like Even us playing again, I was like, I think we need to replay again to tr and shuffle the cards. Yeah. But 
it wasn't like, oh, I need to play this again. I enjoy this game a lot, but it's not one. This is a good filler. Hey, let's play Dune. Let's break that up yeah, with this. Yeah. Hey, let's play something else. This is yep. like a good, like, quick game. Uh, because it's quick. It uh-huh. is like, I think the first one did take minutes, us 10 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. The second game took us like 10 once we kind of yeah. were able to move things around a bit more. Um, ease of play. This game's simple. Super it was simple, simple to explain. It's simple to play. It's moving things around. It's rolling dice. It's everything familiar. Um, as you said, if you were playing with young kids, you get rid of that timed first round. Yeah. Let the kid really tinker around. And it's going to be a great like kids game to play with like somebody who's kind of younger and yeah, doesn't have sure. like the dexterity to move that quick. And Yeah, you just say, okay, everybody just takes their turn, time. Yeah building their stuff yeah then you figure out the cousin jerk meeple like later and then tactics i think this is it's another luck heavy game with the die actually this is all luck (laughs) this is a complete luck based on draw and roll yeah if you don't like other than but you can say strategy with how you build but that's based off the luck of the it's based off the luck of the card so yeah if you're not a, a fan of luck this wouldn't be one that you'd like because it's the luck of the card draw of the shape of the boxes and then the luck of dice rolling, obviously. Um, overall, I think this is a great kids' gateway game. This isn't one I would introduce to a lot of like bigger gamers, but this is a great game that I would introduce to like my nephew. Yep, kids only. Yeah. I wouldn't play this with any other adults. Yeah, but uh, overall, four to five for Barrel Edge Games. I think it's a wonderful production. I think... Uh, they knocked it out of the park with the theme and what they were trying to convey. It's just a good light game. If that's what they were trying to do, they nailed it on the head. This is a great game to play with kids, to play with families. Yeah. And, yeah. Agreed. But how much, like, it's only a one to two player game. Yep, two player so it's game. It's not really a... built for family, but maybe like one well, yeah, time you know what I mean. Like just or, yeah. or siblings play each other. Yeah. Or friends. But yeah. For what yeah, they I mean, good. yeah, two kids what they were going for, I think they they did a good job. Yeah, I, I would rather them go outside and throw water balloons at each yep, other. Me but too, me if too. it's if it's hopefully, raining, this is a great <laughs> alternative. Hopefully, this encourages that. Yeah. But all right. Well, thank you for listening. Uh, as always, quick, rate, like, and subscribe. Quick and short episode, just like the game. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's not much else to say. So, nope. thank you for uh, listening. Mm-hmm. Check out our Redbubble and T Public store. Yep, and uh, remember stay subscribed on the Instagram. Stay subscribe, yeah, Instagram. I've got to go through the list. Mm. Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or X, uh, Threads. I don't. Are what we else? Still what are social on are threads? there? <laughs> are we still active on Threads? We're on Threads. Uh, okay. How active? I don't know. But <laughs> subscribe there. Check it out. Uh, Instagram, if you care the most, is my Instagram. Yep. Uh, anything we talk about on here. I put up there and anything I'm just kind of playing in life is on there. But yeah. as I said, if you're listening this far, you're already probably a fan. Yeah, gracias. And we appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.